Hey, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Morning world. Yes, and good evening to John's world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good day, John. It's <laughs> true. Oh, good day, well, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That was very nice, Mikey. Oh, here we are. It's always a lot of fun this morning to make it, but it is fun. <laughs> Brilliant. That's, yeah, that's a keeper. Brilliant. We've got two people watching. Shall we right. say hello to them? Sure. Hello to the two Good. people. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Rory. Morning, Rory the gloriously bearded. And whoever the and whoever the other person is we don't know who the other it could be me actually because i'm on my phone yeah. <laughs> how that himself <laughs> look at me i'm on the telly <laughs> right then what are we doing right yeah. so, mikey would you care to explain how this all came about yes i would i would love to Uh, so we, 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 by interpretive dance, us, <laughs> yeah, it came about by dancing around the campfire <laughs> one night and summoning the spirits, the YouTube spirits. Now, um, all three of us are veterans, so these two are RF, well, RF and Royal Australian Air Force. Um, so yeah, I'm ex army, as you can tell, I was Remy, oh, Remy Reserve. Um, and we are part of a group called Friends of Mosby Heroes, which is an IPMS registered club that supports uh, the aims and efforts of Mosby Heroes, which is an organization supporting veterans and members of the emergency services in to engage in scale modeling. We decided that we wanted to do a, a show that we would want our young sons to watch. Instead of watching all this nonsense that's just mindless stuff on telly, we want to, you know, we want to do something that our sons can learn from and, and things like that and can understand that it's okay to talk and between blokes and things. You don't have to be, you know, the old uh, stereotype of the stoic guy. Especially John, because John does emotion quite well. <laughs> uh, it's a work in progress for me, but sure. <laughs> I just okay. chip in on that. It's not just sons, it's grandsons as well, because my grandson's watching. <gasps> Yay. <gasps> Hello, grandson Morris. I'm a daughter. <laughs> Jake. Hello, Ooh, daughter Jake Morris. Is there somewhere in the background. Yeah, Kerry Adams ah. in there in the background somewhere, so. Anyway, so expect so got, dodgy comments anytime on the uh, on the posts. So we got a comment from Rory saying "Yay" because we said hello. <laughs> We've got a message from Kerry, who I assume is your daughter, saying "Good morning, Father from Joe, from yeah. me and Jake." There you go. They're watching yeah. together. That's cheating. You can't do that. <laughs> and then yeah. we got yeah. YouTube modeler. Good look, guys. Professional YouTuber. A professional yeah. YouTuber is watching us. That's a bit yeah. scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, are you going to show the world the kit we're going to make? Okay. You can do it all technically. I will do mine manually. <laughs> Let's do it manually then. Gary's going old school. Ready? Two, three, go. Yeah. Wrong guy, Go on, Gary, you can do it, mate. Oh, <laughs> right. Let's go to the overhead camera. Oh, I did it. I did it. Mr. <laughs> Barley down under is. Uh... Oh, there it is. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Are, we are you able to flip your image, Mikey? Which way? Side to side? It's, yeah, left to right. Yeah. There we go. That's correct. Right. <gasps> We've got all the same there kit. Imagine that. Right. How'd that happen? I know, yeah. It's like yeah. a complete coincidence. We all get... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And look at that. Even the boxes are made out exactly the same inside. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's not at all like it's in rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Smoother in rehearsal. So, <laughs> hits. I'm going to put a um, disclaimer out straight away. I'm embarrassed. Oh, God, why have you done that? One is. Ooh, <laughs> doesn't involve sausages. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not my preferred <laughs> subject in, oh, historically yes. or in modeling. And this will be my first ever World War One kit. Apart from yeah. a figure that I did some, some time ago of a German World War One stormtrooper with a with a flamethrower. Um, yeah. So looking forward to this. Good. Well, I build a few World War One kits. I've uh, nearly built one. I've, I've got this one here. <laughs> this is a Mark. The Tacom Mark IV Hermaphrodite. Um, yeah. Haven't finished it, so I've got uh, the unditching beam to go on and chains, and then a lot of dirt and stuff. I've just uh, for two reasons. I lost the unditching beam. <laughs> Found it, I think, yesterday. And um, well, that's yeah. it. I, the chains that came in the kit, I'd lost them. So partly this is to go alongside that because I think. Uh, so the, one of the reasons why I wanted to build a whippet is there was a, I think it was a um, Tank Museum video a couple of years ago on the whippet, and in it it had the footage of Mark IV lumbering along, and one of these just like a whippet, just running not in circles around it, but certainly so much faster than it, and uh, it just uh, seemed to, to me to be um, a remarkable bit, bit of kit for something so new. Well, so the I Mark, it very interesting. Mark. Mark Four only did four miles an hour, but the the whippet did eight miles an hour. Hmm. So uh, yeah. we just, we've just had what I think will be the comment of the day. All this time, I've heard you All speaking about you it, and I thought it. the whippet was a plane. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> that was a brilliant comment. It is not. I have built men kits before, but not uh, a tank. I've built a couple of, I'm trying to think, a couple of aircraft. Oh yeah, pick a couple of aircraft. But this, this is um, the only men kit. I've, I didn't uh, enjoy the tack on yeah, the... tank so well. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it was just. I don't know. The only men kit I've, I've built is the FT17, and that was a nice kit. Well, the only the only men kit I've ever built was the uh, B seventeen eggplant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Comes with. Uh... I get oh, the impression we should have these out there. I tied it every. Uh, don't matter. Sorry. In preparation for today, I uh, cleared my bench yesterday, and um, no, I can't find anything. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Your Jake's just commenting, guys. No, Jake, that's his joints, mate. <laughs> that's my, He's getting that's on my arms and legs, mate. Listen. <laughs> all right. I should have opened that's the bag earlier, but it's, Maybe it's, I need a new chair, family. <laughs> Maybe my family Maybe need your family. <laughs> Unfortunately, Gary, you just had your birthday. <laughs> How old are you? Yeah, all right. We're not we're, we're not going to mention that, are we? No, it's rude no. to talk about the age of women. <laughs> <laughs> Does that go for our F personnel right. as well? <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, we, what, how many minutes are we in? Nine minutes in. <laughs> and the REF is beginning to start it. Right, okay. Oh, he's joining in. <laughs> oh, he was 60. Yes, I was 60. Was it last week? Thank, thank you, Kerry. I don't know. Memory fades when you get to this age. Uh, Thanks for the my family. They'll stitch me up at the. Opportunity they get, they will stitch me. <laughs> Because the current Mrs. Morris isn't well at the moment, I was walking the dog this morning, 
and uh, the dog had done his uh, due diligence after hmm. okay, responsible dog owner i was picking up what he and uh, my son came past in his work man he tooted me so his first view this morning was a he's uh, <laughs> picking up dog poo by the side of the road and there you go could have been worse. Could have started. been the dog picking yours up. <laughs> well, he's getting some oh, no, that was later already. on. <laughs> <laughs> well, shush, we don't tell him. That, that was later on. <laughs> we don't want to embarrass him, so we'll yeah. just pick it up all on these, the way uh, as he goes past. <laughs> all these, all these three things that we had before we started this, like you mustn't swear in the first 30 seconds, you mustn't do that, and we're uh, now 11 minutes in and we're talking about dog poo. <laughs> yeah, this 30 is seconds well. is gone, mate. This is going <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> we can only go south. I'll tell you what you do need to get though, Gary. You need to get a better micro. You sound like you're the other side. That's on my room. headset mic. Uh, this is on my headset one. microphone. Saying that when you rang me yesterday, <laughs> you sounded completely different again. Um, yeah, yesterday you rang me on the day my telephone voice. Yeah, that, that was you being posh, was it, old boy? This week, this week, mate, chaotic in our house um, with trips to the hospital and one thing and another, but I couldn't tell you when I uh, I last spoke to Hang you. Hang on. It's not been you going Nor to the hospital. Blood. It's been Kerry and Marion, Marion, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing it? Hospital, Mrs. Morris Kerry and Marion well. does it. <laughs> I have to stay here because A, I don't drive because of my, uh, and B, uh, someone has to look after the dog. That's my excuse. Just no way we talk about Mary. Oh, oh, she there might you. be sick in her bed, but she would have heard that. I wouldn't be surprised if she's watching <laughs> on her phone. Get well soon, oh. dear. The washing, the washing, the washing up's piling up. <laughs> <laughs> now now gary we can't be speaking like that oh is that one of the things we had in the briefing kerry Did says annie me? doesn't have the, kerry said annie doesn't have the patience to sit in a and e <laughs> does he turn into the grumpy get in the corner does he no, kerry <laughs> sitting there whinging full of sick people <laughs> Oh, it's funny though, isn't it? I'm gonna go there. I, I could just I was spending your time while they were at the hospital working on the zero, but that's wonder if my grandson's tuned out yet and gone to watch an episode of the rookie. Grumpy is just him normally. Oh. You know, you can pull the comments up if you want. Oh. Just click on it. Can I? This is yeah. technology. You... Technology. You... If you put your mouse oh. over it, it'll say show. It. No, it doesn't. No, because we're no, just in as guests. Oh. You've got control, Mikey. Okay. Yeah, we're just in as guests. So I can teach you how to wash dad. Don't worry. Why do you want to wash me? <laughs> I'm Maybe quite capable of doing it myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are getting. I'm off, quite capable. It? I've I've not got to that stage yet. <laughs> <laughs> you might have had a stroke, but not his right arm still working. <laughs> yeah, I, might, I might have had two strokes. Don't wash yourself. Thank you very much. Well, no, do that's all it takes. I'm grumpy is just in normally. What is this? I tell you what, let's go on YouTube for a couple of hours on a Thursday morning and everybody can take the piss out of me. You meant wash up. Well, she didn't say wash up. Mm. I mean, everybody thinks I'm a stinky old tramp now. <laughs> My family... I'm still here sending mum with a better mic of ducks. Thank you, uh, grandson of mine. Speaking he, of which, he Jake, has, how, he has how a, is... uh, 
now that we've established that your granddad's uh, microphone sucks, how's mine and John's sound? Is that okay? Or does it need adjusting? Sorry, what are you going to say, Gary? Oh, so he's now going to want money. He, he, will want te- he will want money as technical advisor now. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's um, he's got his own little YouTube set up. I don't know whether he's yeah, he's only 13, 14, yeah. 15, 14 days. Um, but YouTube himself, but he's a gamer. He's uh, he'd probably go on my steps on the he likes to. Um, my set, your my sound is both brilliant, says my daughter. Thank you, Kerry. We were wondering. So it's just my sound that's dodgy. Yes. Oh well. The rest of us have proper what microphones. What isn't dodgy about me? <laughs> yeah, well. Apparently you apparently you, you talk about your mo- daughter washing you. <laughs> that's not <laughs> the, dodgy. Uh, <laughs> the, mo- the Morris Household Accounting Department won't sanction a, a new microphone at the moment. Ah. Uh-huh. I want one of them big boom mic things that. What, like I've got? Or do you mean the big ones that you have to have Marion stood behind the desk holding? (laughs) (laughs) With a fluffy cover thing on. (laughs) But I can tell her off every time it drops into shot. I must have. You can actually get um, lapel mics quite cheap on Amazon. Lapel mics? God, I'd like to put a shirt on. Um, well, no, you just yeah. clip it onto your collar. Talk about mod. Yeah, I think we should have opened these packets before we came online. Yeah, I was thinking that when I opened them online. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know what? You can just start of an adventure. <laughs> A fourteen C. Bun- blunder our way through it as normal. <laughs> the plastic on this kit is lovely. It is, it isn't really it? Is, yeah. And the audience and really cried, nice. at last someone's mentioned something about the model. <laughs> so what made you want to do a World War One model, Gary? You. You uh, told me to. I didn't tell you to. No, World War One is it, um, my other grandson, who's not watching this because he's at college, um, is very much into World War One. In fact, he is. Um, he was homeschooled. He's at college now, but he was homeschooled. He, he, he's uh, when he was fourteen, he did a. He got a GCSE. Um, yeah. He got his first GCSE when he was fourteen in history, and he one and the russian revolution yeah um and, and passed it and uh, but he is a big big world war one fan um world war one's not not really my boat it's a bit i'm a bit embarrassed to say that but um world war two oh, yes. is more my thing um it's more part of your personal um, history isn't but it? i knew you were gonna say that and yes i did, did do the air traffic control for the Wright brothers um, <laughs> But as I've progressed through my modelling rebirth, shall we say, from when I was taken ill, um, yeah. my confidence levels have grown, and I'm not afraid now to take on different sorts of kits. Um, so, World War One is a different era for me, but see the potential for. Um, scope for, for diorama to do not that i do many dioramas i mean but that's another area um yeah so yeah saw the kit i thought that's a funky little do i wouldn't mind a go at that yeah so when we, when we mentioned about doing this yeah i went to a well-known chinese shopping site <laughs> And purchased, and purchased one. <laughs> what about you, John? Some glue on this now. Um, so I mentioned earlier, like when I first 
Yes. Okay. The, the first, <laughs> I'd, I'd seen the the, um, the tank museums uh, tank chats about the whippet, and you know, I just thought I I don't think I'd probably seen an image of it before, but I hadn't taken much notice. But mm. then when I was talking about it, I'm just thinking that is really cool. I love the um, you know the the mud sluices and all that sort of stuff. I thought you know, it's an ingenious design. Mm. And, um, you know, so this then, fast forward to or however long it was, when I first moved to Newcastle, one of the first things I did is, you know, we were in a hotel in town waiting for our you know, defence housing and all that sort of stuff like that. And we just went down for a walk with Main Street, Bron and I. And, uh, oh, oh, my God, look at this. I didn't know they had a model store here, which, of course, I did. But um, <laughs> we went in and I saw the main kid of the Whippet sitting there. And I'm just... <gasps> And she just said, um, uh, you know, can we go now? And stuff like that. So I never bought it. And uh, I don't know. I've just, it's, whenever it's popped up in the store, I keep on thinking, I should really do that. Because I don't do much in the way of, um, I'm more into aircraft modeling. I do give everything a go. I like to widen my horizons and learn different skills. But at the end of the day, fascinating uh, engineering I think the, the whole prospect of it like you know there's nothing like you know, I mean, this is the dawn of um, well no I guess you know killing at an industrial at an industrial scale was well sort of in place before then um, yeah. I heard figures that uh, say the Battle of Trafalgar um, were out doing the um, you know, the death rate of the Battle of the Somme and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But the fact is, the Battle of the Somme went for a lot longer than the Battle of Trafalgar. Yeah, it's um, sort of the, um, the birth of mechanised warfare, wouldn't it? Yeah, and it's, a, you know, apart from you know, people that built trains were building these sort of things and all that sort of stuff. But uh, I just think it's a fascinating little vehicle. And World War One is, a, I think, yeah, a topic that, until the centenary, I don't think there was that much about it. Um, I think we had learned a lot more over time, like the, the research and everything else, and plus the internet and the ability to access media. Um, yeah, basically, I, I like it. I want to build it. Is a, a short answer. <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. I'll turn this around. It's interesting. The assembly of the rear wow. part of the uh, the fighting compartment, um, yeah. you bend it yourself. So it's flat and you bend it to match the, the whole shape. It's interesting. Oh, well, that's going to go well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I've just got to that part and I was thinking that myself. <laughs> I've got a comment off Rory. Oh, well. The works UK hobby. Oh, have we lost out? Oh, Mikey's frozen. Suddenly went for that. Mikey's frozen for some reason. Uh, Rory was saying the store sells sheets of foam board that are wonderful for model making. I got five A3 sheets. That's not bad. That's not bad. But Rory, amazing uh, models by um, taking old back. plastic toys and, re and re repurposing them and making wonderful, wonderful kit, uh, model kits out of that. Yes, you are back, Mikey. I, I let in like a true professional. It was seamless. Excellent. You're learning. No one noticed. No one noticed. <laughs> it was that good. See, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. I do slowly. Yeah. I've got my birthday voucher. In fact, you should have your birthday voucher for Hobbycraft as well, Gary. I did, yeah. I have got it. Um, it probably runs out today or something because they don't give you a log on it, do they? Um, yeah, I don't know. I used mine uh, a few months ago. Yes, I have. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, if I yeah. need any, any glue or anything, or I might put yeah. it towards a kit and get kit cheap. Depends, that. that depends if you're allowed. Yeah. You don't need if another kit. Permit. You don't need another kit. You've got we only built one at a time. Do I really? 
And I should mm. just mention her book stash and her um, diamond painting stash. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about bending this piece of plastic. You're nervous. <laughs> is this A9 we're talking about? Yes. Yeah, this is going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? <laughs> Careful, uh, your Kerry says, careful, lads. If he does too much good stuff, he'll want a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll have to rub his be belly and make a wish first. Uh, you've got to take me out to dinner before you rub my belly. <laughs> just, I just keep getting a little bit <laughs> sick in my mouth. It's not easy, yeah. you know. <laughs> Yeah, Mar Marion told you not easy to live with. Yeah. Yeah, not easy to live with. There I was, half past seven this morning, walking the dog. And for once this the week... Bearing your ass to all the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. At 25 to eight, I went home and got dressed. <laughs> yeah. Very says like, me too, John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, at that moment when, when a um, uh, a dog is, say, halfway through its bowel movement, it's not going to move. If you went to kick it or whatever, it would just look at you to say, please don't kick me. You know, and I imagine Gary's I face would be much the same. Look, you know, <laughs> just when you come around the corner I and you, you know, he's as surprised to see you as you are him. I don't understand why, why when dogs do their due diligence they have to look at you <laughs> <laughs> I'll stare you in the eye <laughs> I mean, just, it's not as if it's not as if i sit on the loo and you know broadcast it to the world so we'll change the well, yeah we, we, we happen to have someone in the chat that can verify that of course <laughs> <laughs> oh no she won't right so you've physically got to bend this yeah yes yeah Oh yeah, dead easy. So there you go, done. Have you done the odds? And uh, you know, it line it up with eyes. the front it's of that. Spicy, don't you? I'm going to clean the injector marks up first, whilst it's flat. I understand? Yeah, I've done. I've done mine because they're terrible, actually. The uh, the old injector marks on the back of that. Yeah, you don't get that with ICM, do you? <laughs> Oh, just because you're an ICM fanboy. Oh, <laughs> I might become one if I start doing this uh, World, World War One stuff more. Right, I've got Jake. to physically bend this with my own hands. Jake's watching you, Gary. Ooh. And, uh, and Kerry said, it's spicy. Okay. <laughs> it's spicy. Uh, only if I'm and Gary T's in. Yeah. Welcome, Hello, Gary, Gary T. T. How are you? Going? It's going well. It's about to go badly because we've got to bend this part. <laughs> right, bend it to the shape of water. Does actually tell you. So. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I think okay. Gary T is the actual reason we're doing the whippet. Yes, he is. Right. Well, if this goes wrong, I'll be doing a zero in a minute. <laughs> well, it went perfectly fine for me. You'll be okay. There's um, a message in the private chat, lads. Roger that. <laughs> Jake Corbett, you can. You can do it. it. Oh, who's that? Do it's uh, getting the chopper. <laughs> no, it's uh, Rob Schneider on Adam Sandler movies. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. I need it. You can do it, Dad. We believe in you. <laughs> okay, three. I got go to team Morris. Now. It's uh, nice to know when your kids have faith in you, isn't it? How many likes did you say? Hey. Oh, obviously, I thought you said. So, so, I thought I heard someone say thirteen likes. I went, "What?" Oh, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? 
Come on, people, like and subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to their channel as well because they're new. They haven't got any followers yet other than me. Mm. Which, yeah. way, which way are we going? Friends of Models for Heroes YouTube channel has got nothing on it yet. Yeah. But it will have this on it later on. Uh, that's the same as the Scar Modeling Twins. Now, let me explain to the audience what's going on there. I, uh, I have a twin brother, Paul, uh, who is four minutes older than me. And uh, he, uh, we, we both enjoy Scar Modeling and stuff. And we do spend a lot of time on the phone talking about, you know, not necessarily kid acquisitions because he doesn't have that many and buy that many, but um, he is time poor. Um, but uh, yeah, he loves a hobby and we spend a lot of time just chatting about like what's exciting about you know, things we've seen, uh, recent releases, all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, it's like, uh, so we only have a Facebook presence uh, at the moment. So the skull, the skull modeling twins, but um, we're due to this and other reasons. Um, I'm looking at starting up a YouTube page for live builds and such like. So yes, once that's up and running, um, all that like and subscribe stuff. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. And don't forget but, to uh, like this video. Because we've only got one like on it at the minute, but we've got five people watching. Horrors. I don't know. It's, it's just traumatic. Because hmm. I'm only here for the likes, it's apparently. <laughs> if I was like 15, yeah. I'd be devastated. Mm. <laughs> K3. Yeah. K3 goes on the back. B10 goes on the front. So, given that Gary's the eldest, does that make him the grandfather of the channel? It certainly makes him Jake's grandfather, but is he the granddad of the channel of the show? Yeah, if you're on Bunny Rock, uh, the most senior, the wrong person to be the grand, the, no, the wrong person because I do have a strange sense of humor. Yeah, but don't you all. Have you not uh, been so listening? You asked a, a question, <laughs> question, Gary? I mean, Mikey, you asked a question. Yeah, so you don't, you don't have any grandkids, have you? Yeah. I uh, no, no. I have four children. Yeah. Um, but they're busy doing other things and and not um, uh, uh, rooting at the moment. So that's okay. But you know, <laughs> whenever they're ready. Uh, at least you know they weren't like me and having kids at seventeen. <laughs> hmm. Well, you know, as I said before, I don't know how many white-haired Asians there are running around, but, you know. <laughs> no, that's, that didn't happen either. Happily married. <laughs> Until she watches this back. <laughs> then you'll be unhappily divorced. <laughs> yeah. Gary probably would be, but Marion just got used to him by now. <laughs> I'm worth, to, I'm worth more to her alive than I am dead. You see this part here? This little uh, portal. Bit. Oh, yes. K13. Which oh, way? Yeah, which, now. which way round have you guys put it? Because I, the little tab goes either at the top or the bottom. Yeah, but the tab isn't in the image. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I've, just, I've just put it at the... I uh, don't know whether you can see that. Uh, I've just put the, the tab thing at the top. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, although I'm sure someone will tell me it should be at the bottom. All right. So, you know what? I'll, have a, I'll see if it's in the Whippet book. Where's the Whippet book? Hang on. You've got a book about Whippets. Yeah. The Observer's so book. One in the center of the screen. Book. Here is a little, this is, <laughs> I guess, the rear support plate for the ball that holds the um, the machine gun. Yes, it is. Are these, uh, these are do that. kits guns? Or are they. I think they're uh, Lewis we guns. Really, Lewis. Have we really been going for 35 minutes? Yeah. Wow. Gary T says oh my God. he has the kit, but it already looks rather tricky to build even at this stage. It's all right. Just take your time, my dude. Yeah. And yeah. Jake said he will forget it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He I'm going to do a Gary and put that 
lever on K3 <laughs> facing upwards. So there's, there's two locating. Um, yeah, no, I, yeah, stuff. yeah. But I'm thinking now, I've talked myself out of it. You got to go don't down. Commit, don't commit. Still yeah, I'm just looking to see what it looks like. Ah, ah okay. There's a picture here. Yep. Right. Oh, right. It's very, very faint, so you might not be able to see it on camera. Zoom in on your picture. Uh, oh, good point. I can zoom in, can I? Double click on you. Right, no, I mean, you go full no. screen on you. No, but... There you go, it's down. Uh, you see it? Is it yeah. Is it a look? It's sticking it's out the bottom the towards the handle. So, Mikey? Yeah. Yes. Can can you put your mouse over your image and go full screen? Show us again. Yep. Good point. I forgot to do that. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Professional. So focus. Ooh, oh, oh, come on. You focused a minute ago. God, I haven't had anything to drink yet. Oh, there we are. Oh, you yeah. see the little tab at the bottom? Sure. Sure. There you I'll go. put it down. Yeah. Now we have our answer. Mm, you know what? How cool! It's a good job I got that book. Yeah, you can't face it that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's either going to be down at the seven o'clock position or up at the two o'clock position. It's down at seven o'clock position on the picture. Down at seven. Oh, okay. It looked like it was down at, well, I'll say five. Yeah. This is that's something you wouldn't have no because the instructions don't show you. No, no, there, there is no, no tab on the instructions. The... Which is why it's really important that we get the research material. Well, and why is that no one see it. It's on the inside. No, 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 it's why it's very important that you get the. Tell her. Well, yeah, I do do most of the reading, don't I? <laughs> there you go. There we go. So. Uh, oh. Top is up, so that's the way it goes oh, no, on no. there. Yes. I've got a lot of shadow there. I'm going to have to fix that. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Noise. There we go. So that there then we go. What's makes a little sort of oh, semicircular revetment for the ball to fit in. Yeah. Oh, I do like that. It sort of, it feels like it's uh, fighting, and then all of a sudden it gives way and sets in the right place. So. This is strange, okay. but kind of cool at the same time. Yeah. Well, that's it. I must admit. What are you admitting to? It's quite, I'm quite impressed with the kit. Nice yeah. kits to build, aren't they, the Meng ones? Yeah, I should definitely uh, be looking at more now. I quite fancy doing the, their, um, their Apache, but hmm. I haven't got the space for it. Well, um... I got the AK. I got a Takum Mark One. Hobby Boss are quite good kits to make as well. Yes. Did I get the other day the Schneider? I I did I did um, I think it's the Hobby Boss um, a six intruder, which I think Gary T has uh, recently just got. Yeah. Um, Recently acquired. And uh, yes, and that is a lovely kit. I stuffed mine up due to inexperience. That's the only thing uh, that was wrong with mine. But I know he's just got it, and it is a lovely, lovely kit. Um, right. Yeah. Gary T says, "Have you decided uh, on the livery you're all going to do? Are you all going to do the same one or different ones?" Well, well, we're all doing different ones. 
we were discussing this, weren't we, before we came on? Just not, before. Not it's, in terms of delivery, <laughs> in terms of delivery, there's not much choice because in World War One, the British tanks once you got past nineteen into 1917 oh. and in 1918, which is when the whippets were first being used in 1918, the British were painting all their tanks in like a light brown, light earth, dark earth color. And what they did was they just painted the numbers on as well. And then 1918, after May 1918, they started painting on the red and white stripes as a tactical recognition flashes for the troops and for aircraft. So you haven't really got much in the way of liveries, but identification markings, you can. You, we've got three different versions we'll be doing. If that makes sense. <laughs> I should be doing Firefly. I'm going to be doing. I've forgotten. <laughs> Caesar. Caesar two. Yes, I'm doing Caesar two, the and Victoria Cross. And you're well, doing I'm just, just let me glue this bit on. Uh, this is you know the okay. K three going on to the other piece A three, and I am having trouble getting it. Yeah, I'm just doing it when it just yeah. fell into place on the other one. Mr. Skelly's just. Join us saying, morning chaps, you're in the background whilst I'm working. Morning, oh. Dave. There we go. Morning, Dave. So that's gone in. All right. So what I'm thinking of, the let's let's go to the the sheet that comes with the uh, tank. So the two variants that come as choices are, this one is Caesar 2. Uh, all right. Could you zoom in on my camera for a moment, please, Mikey? Of course I can. All right, so yep. trying to keep the glare down, but this this is Caesar two, so yes. it's yeah much the same. Yeah, just basically yeah red white recognition stripes, but this is number nine Caesar two. The other choice is um, Firefly. A Firefly, yeah. Yeah. Blurt. So Thank that's very much the same, except it has a, a big nine on it. Yeah. Um, they're the only choices. However, it does give you decals for a Russian one. And a captured German one, but it Ooh. doesn't show you how to do them. Like you know, there's nothing in the instructions to say, oh, you know, these are the colours or whatever. I don't want to do a Russian or German one because they weren't predominantly Russian or German, you know. So what I'm thinking about is getting this. This is from uh, BNA Hobbies. This is just using my iPad as a reference, but it's a paint mask set, and it comes with all different numbers. And you can see it's made for this kit. So it's got um, Caesar two, Firefly. It's got a couple of skulls and uh, the um, Balkan Kreutz, I think they call it, the German cross. Yeah. It's got the number nine there for the um, for Firefly. And, yeah, so what it has is go faster, um, go like L, as in G-O-L-I-K-E-L-L, -L -L, go like L. Julian's baby, Clara, Fanny Adams. Um, well, that's about it, really, and lots of lots of different choices. So I'm thinking I might get this uh, paint mask set just to be different, if that makes sense. Why and not? as a result of which, I don't necessarily, I won't be using Firefly and Caesar, and I can easily pop, pop them in the mail for you, gents, if you want them. Hmm. So I, I didn't realise. I think I'll do a go faster. Hmm. Oh, sorry, go like L. I just I just like the um the slang, I guess. I didn't realise they had the Voiter Panzer. Um, Voiter Panzer. Voiter Panzer. Bless you. <laughs> You're talking about a, a captured one, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Voiter Panzers, they were called. Yeah. 16. Oh. Wow. Well, we've got seven likes on the stream so far. Yes. <laughs> seven um, likes and nobody watching anymore. <laughs> uh, no, there's three people. Three people. All right. So we've bored well, some people. One of them better be Jay. 
<laughs> I bet Jake's not watching now. I bet he's gone off to play play his Xbox. Hmm. Let's have a let's have a roll call. Who's here? Who's still here watching? So yeah. while I'm still zoomed in, I'll show you this bit. Now we were well concerned about bending that and how to get the angle right. I think it's absolutely fine because all you do is match that. However, it doesn't locate yet. Um, what we do next is build up all the other walls around it, um, plonk the lid on, make it a full fighting compartment, and then put it in place. Now, what I'm finding is this next step, they're all sort of flat walls, but with that um, angle on the edge of that, you cannot get, get it wrong. And it fits so well that um, I think there's absolutely no problem. Yeah. Have I got it upside down? No, no you're upside down. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, that would per perfectly match the angle that it needs to be. A, you, you can't get it wrong because it'd be just a gap on one side or the other. So I I've got no problems with the you know the bending of that. It it will it'll marry up. It'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> so you're, so you're, moving on, you're you can saying, zoom you're saying out of me. You can't go you. wrong. Yeah. I'm I'm saying you're saying uh, Johnny well, can't go wrong. Yeah, but. I'm not. You. It's all right. I just want. <laughs> but I'm not you. Yeah. I'll copy that. Disclaimer. So here's a okay. Let's let's a thing. So let's a thing. So Gary, you were ex RAF as Royal Air Force. I was ex uh, yeah. Royal Australian Air Force. So do you call? See, we call us RAF, as in our AAF is pronounced RAF, not RAF. But we don't need to sort of like yeah rap um, yeah we we don't try to uh, make ourselves sound different to you guys because we're hardly ever deployed together so you know we're the only raff around if if yeah. we're in say you know Southeast Asia or whatever until you guys turn up and we just then call you the Poms <laughs> but yeah so you just call yourselves raffies yeah. Yeah, a is, that a, does, is that a common term? Everyone just you call yourself Raffies? No, Raff. Yeah, it was. Okay. Um, it was. It was. We were. We were Raff. Um, yeah. Unofficially, uh, I think it was um, somewhat frowned upon upon high at times, but yeah, can't be right. Um, yeah, I was in the Raff. Oh. Twenty-two, boy, during the war. During the war. So you, yeah, and you were air traffic control. Yeah, he was the one that waved everyone I off was, to war. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the enemy yes. is that way. Go, well, go away, here, my brave boys. Uh, yeah, I was. I was actually um, when I left the air force. I was a flight operations manager. But uh, yeah. I joined up in 19, 1980 and frozen to death. 1918? Group 9, which at that time was 1981. Oh, my mistake. Um, <laughs> I joined into the trade group 9, which was then assistant air traffic controller. Uh, few, many years later, they changed it to flight operations assistants. But by then, I'd been promoted several times and I manager were they promoting you out of the office by any chance? word for <laughs> well they promoted me and sent me to the um when I, when I got when i got promoted to corporal they sent me to uh on the end of the runway and get attacked by the red arrows for three years and from <laughs> there on then on i was at uh, for the last 10 years of my service i was an instructor at royal air force shawbury on the central air traffic control school nice in what was known when I got there as the People's Republic of TTF trade training flight, but it then became a uh, flight operations training flight. Mm. Nice. Okay. So, yes, so that's the end of the step They're bravely two, waving off the uh, aircrew to war. 
groups are all the man away. So I'm, um, um, yeah. So what, what I did for the viewers is um, I was an avionics technician. I joined, I was an electrician before I joined up, and then, um, uh, yeah, joined in 1995 as an avionics technician or an av tech. Um, yeah, basically, yeah. So, um, yeah, so, you know, I did, after basic training, yeah, initial training was only three months, and then we'd go to our um, allocated squadrons. I chose and got uh, Hercules. And um, then for the next five years, we did TDLF, which is Technical Distance Learning Flight. And literally, you'd do two weeks in the hangar um, or, you know, the flight line, and then a week in the school for five years. It was three years originally, but then we changed, they changed the course sort of when I was halfway through, so I had to do another two years and uh, like that. So I was on Hercules for 14 and a half years, so um, E, H and J model. Um, then I went to a, uh, I left there as a sergeant, went to Melbourne, uh, Laverton as a, a procure, avionics procurement officer as a technical uh, um, uh, I guess expertise, you know, just uh, I, I was making sure the the equipos were buying the things that conformed um, to certain specs and stuff like that. For aircraft common, anything that was on more than one type of aircraft, say a particular bolt or goop or whatever, would be uh, done separately. And we'd mm -hmm. control it instead of each of their uh, aircraft's program officers. From there, I went to Orion's for um, a maritime down in Adelaide for five years um, on AP3C aircraft, uh, then left there, came to where I am now in Williamtown, New South Wales. Um, I worked on the F-18 Hornet, uh, classic Hornet, the A and the B model for two years. Um, I was there when 2ACU gave them up and then we moved across to different units and everything else. I went to 3 Squadron, which is the first intake of uh, F-35 in Australia, though the people who didn't do the training in um, in the States. Um, and uh, a year after that, I went to 77 Squadron with the same role, so F-35 aircraft for only three years. Um, mm -hmm. But my back went and uh, my career was pretty much over as soon as I did the course on F-35, so I'm no longer serving. Um, yeah, but that's, that's me in a... In a concise Quick question. Hmm. We are on 53 minutes now, so do you want to stop in a, uh, an hour or do you want to keep going for another hour? Gary? It's up to you, John. I'm happy as I am. I, we can yeah. keep going as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I mean, because we don't have to worry about running out of uh, time on StreamYard because we're, each, we're taking turns each week, aren't we? So. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I can go Ooh, yeah. for another hour. Yeah. Okay. That's a good point. What will be. In, if you want to follow the build all the way through, make sure you're following all three of us because what we're going to do is each week we're going to run it off a different channel because we, we're we not paying £20 a month for StreamYard to uh, <laughs> run it all, send it to all three at the same time. As it went clunk as StreamYard disconnected us yeah. as you said that. So yeah, Make sure you're following all three of us and then that way then each week you can follow the build all the way through. Um. Yeah, and I'll, week, I'll apparently leave, I'll, I'll, once once my mm -hmm. channel is set up, well, it's my channel, it's mine and Paul's, a twin brother, um, I'm going to be doing other builds. Uh, and I'll, I think it'll generally be live. I am really looking forward to starting a wooden um, Corel kit, 198 scale kit of the HMS Victory. Mm -hmm. And that will literally take years. So I think I might as well do that on the channel because I can. Rory so, said they called the RAF crowd, uh, cloud punches. Yeah, making holes in the clouds. And Lost Souls Paranormals just come in and said, Morning, boys and girls. Good boy, morning, Holly. Hiya, Holly. How are you? Welcome to the live. I just had a delivery. Ooh. I just had a delivery. That. Oh, it's a new microphone. <laughs> my oh. daughter just stuck her head around the door with my grandson's microphone. Uh, I won't plug it in for this session because... Uh, you, you should you should come in and say hello, Kerry. She's <laughs> nice to meet you, finally. She's gone. She's downstairs oh. looking after poorly mum. Ah. I've actually just had a thought. All you got to do is plug it into USB. 
you sure it won't screw things up? Oh, well, we'll do it. I'll, I'll do it off air um, so it's ready for next time. Yeah, it won't screw you know, things up. You know screw... what I like, Mikey. Yes. <laughs> but what I can do, what we can do is, you know, on your set where you got settings at the bottom? Yeah. You got in there, you got audio. So what you do is you plug it in and then you go into audio and where it says microphone, you switch it to that microphone. Right. Do so you, want can, me to you try can do that, that now if you want to. Yeah, try I it now follow, if you want. I, I wonder if I can plug it into the USB hub or whether I'll have to plug it into the... No, if it's um, if it's a USB one, you can plug it into the USB hub as long as it's into your right. computer. Uh, Holly says, sorry I've been missing in action. Life has been manic and it's absolutely exhausted me. That's totally fine, my friend. No problems. Right. Yeah, I think all these little fillets and uh, the, the bevels on these parts, you know, you, you, you can't get the angles wrong. I think this is building up very well indeed. I, this... This is much better quality than the Tacom kit. I'm not going to disparage Tacom. I've only built one of these, but I am enjoying this. The pit of this mm. a lot more than the Mark IV. Well, just remember, don't get too carried away assembling the top because you need to paint the inside. Um, what? <laughs> Guys, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear sure you. Can. That's a lot better. Yeah, it just jumped over to that one. So... My goodness, I've done something technical. What? <laughs> Grease your chair. Thank no, you haven't. Thank you so yeah, much. I haven't greased the chair. Yeah, Jake, you're a star, mate. I owe you something. Yeah, you got to give him a present now. Yeah. Pocket money. <laughs> Shh, don't mention money. <laughs> How am I going to give him money? I'm not allowed money. <laughs> I'm liking you know, this bit. It's awesome. It is. It's really, 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 really nice. Really nice. <laughs> Kerry's messaged. Oh, <laughs> she right. said, te technical with the help of two guys, a grandson and your daughter. <laughs> the daughter will take the money. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> Yeah, aren't we get the pleasure to, of your company every day. <laughs> aren't you supposed to be nursing your ill mother? She is, but she can, they're watching us together, most likely. Oh, my goodness. I hope they're not watching on the big screen downstairs. That's all right. All they'll see is your belly in the quit mat. <laughs> my belly. <laughs> get in my belly. <laughs> oh, that's a good job. We, you know, we love, we love you, don't you, Gary? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, one um, one mention I do want to make um, to someone he might not be watching at the moment, but I know he's going to watch it back. Is uh, is our AD? Oh our AD, yeah, AD Embley, bless him. He's uh, on an aeroplane at the moment to go to Lanzagrotti uh, for a week's holiday. Um, so he's having a week in the sun. Chillaxing. Um, so uh, I hope you have a nice holiday, AD. You you you've earned it. Yeah. He's had a rough time, but I only bless him. He has had a rough time, but he's he, he's he's coming out the other end of it now, so Yeah. Thank goodness. Yes. Um apparently, yes they are. They are watching Watching yep. on the telly downstairs. Look at me, mum, I'm on the telly. <laughs> you should switch to your other camera, Gary, so you can wave to Mary and say hello. <laughs> right. So I can. I, here we go. Then I will technically switch to my other camera. Be prepared. <laughs> be prepared to the fact that I am in minion mode. <laughs> so here is the technical switch to the other camera because I haven't got two cameras. There you go, G Jake. <laughs> You see granddad in minion mode now. <laughs> <laughs> banana, banana, banana. I'm on the telly. Anyway, <laughs> back to the model. In technical, full technical mode. 
<laughs> Gary isn't doing a paid partnership with Guinness that we know of. I, 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 I can see the likes of um, you know professional podcasters and YouTubers like like Skiffins and Childs hanging their heads in shame now. <laughs> Not at all. I'm sure if they watch it, they'll be very happy with the results we've got. Yeah, I'm thinking they'll they'll never outrate us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're doing quite well, to be fair. We've got oh, six watching now, and it's been an okay, hour. Yeah. I am not doing this for the likes, put it away. No. What? <laughs> if you care to like. <laughs> <laughs> However, if you care to like, yeah. As somebody uh, who's so not he's... allowed to cameras. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Gary? Yeah, I heard. <laughs> Never mind her book stash. <laughs> Ooh, and her diamond paint, dirt diamond painted stash. I don't know yeah. what diamond painting is. Can you explain that one to me? You have a picture uh, with a load of sticky stuff on it, and then you stick little plastic gems, coloured gems to it. Oh, to make all those picture. things. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Marion spends many a happy hour doing things like that when she's not making cards because she makes uh, greeting cards as a hobby. I think Marion uh, and my my Kay would get on very well because she likes doing those as well. Yeah, she's she's very good at it. She's very good at it. Uh, Excellent. And she has built a model this year. Yeah, she did. Didn't uh -huh. I, I got her a book nook at uh, Telford. Did you mention you've been to Telford, John? Oh, yes, I've been to Telford, <laughs> uh, the UK one. <laughs> yeah, at Scale Model World, uh, we did meet up, didn't we, John? We had a very good we time. We did. And yeah, it was Paul great. was there as well. Um, John, was, John bought... was greeted like a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> it, of course oh. he was. He bought Tim Tabs with him. Yeah. <laughs> um, Even while I was there, I managed to import via, well, I don't know, whatever <laughs> store. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I interrupted. Keep going. Um, I, I bought I bought Marion a, a book nook model, um, which she has built and completed. So she is officially a modeler now. Yay. Go, Marion. Yeah. She must be a good egg to put up with you, though. Well, well not, only does she, not only does she put up with me, it's 40 years this year, we're on our wedding anniversary. <laughs> So, you know, as she quite rightly says, if I'd have murdered him, I'd have been out by now. Yeah. Yeah. I think he probably would have been able to claim the insurance. I do have to <laughs> say, though, um, if, if if my family are, are watching downstairs, because um, this is the first time we've ever done anything like that, subtle hint. <laughs> <laughs> I try that sometimes. sometimes I, can't, will... I can't walk away and leave my audience wanting. <laughs> I think the only thing the audience is wanting now is a can of WD-40 in that room. I, I, do you know what? I, I, knew, I knew you were going to say that. As you were saying, I think he's going to mention the chair. <laughs> I'm nothing if not predictable. So... Uh... Add that to the list, Marion, if you're watching. A new camera, a new chair. <laughs> and if Kerry comes up, she's got to say hello. <laughs> and don't forget, yeah. don't forget the three D printer. Oh, did I mention the three D printer? Did I mention I've been to Telford? <laughs> I fancy doing a book nook, a cyberpunk. Rory says, right, hang up. I fancy. There you go. I fancy doing a book nook. Book <laughs> <laughs> Fancy... Back in, Gary. <laughs> and that's why I don't do air traffic control anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, tra I'm, tra I'm training these teeth in for a racehorse. Um, Rory <laughs> says, I fancy doing a book nook, a cyberpunk street or something like that. That would be quite cool, actually. Yeah. yeah. My, um, my, my, the current Mrs. Marley has a, a book nook, but it hasn't opened yet. We were waiting until we got a new house so she could start it. She the trouble has no is, excuse now. Well, we do, because you know, you've heard, oh, you know, we have too many books. That's not true. We just don't have enough bookcases. But uh, we need to well, we have, work out. 
because we have no gaps. So we need to work out where it's going to go. But she'll be doing that at some point. Well, she can... you can con you can convert about thirty percent of your garage into a library for her. It's that big. You have the only garage that is in two time zones. <laughs> Jake said, "I know I'm amazing." <laughs> I know you're amazing, kid. Let's. This sound is so much better. Thank you, Jake. Let's show people this garage. I don't want people to get my, jealous or whatever, but this is that's the back wall. So turning around that way, you can see how far away that door is. It is in another time zone. <laughs> you see, we're only on, we're only on for hour. Again. <laughs> we're only on for another hour, John. <laughs> don't forget your Sherpa. <laughs> That's a pretty big space. Yeah. Don't forget your Sherpa next time so you don't get lost. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of breath now. Oh. <laughs> I'm out of coffee. I'm out of coffee as well. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I've got a bit of a coupler. It's stone cold, though. But, unlike tea, coffee doesn't taste too bad when it's cold. I don't think. No, it doesn't. It's not, isn't that funny? Yeah, it's still drinkable. Bit of a plug for the um, 37 Squadron RAF Association. Um, Hercules. Oh my God, Mr. Cliff's turned up. Uh, Mr. Cliff is uh, my daughter's partner. He's watching now. You can't glue that there, sir. <laughs> you can't Welcome, glue that Paul. there, sir. <laughs> Welcome, Paul. Give us a like. Ah, Kerry, yeah, you've got to say hello. Yeah, I'm not coming on for live. Hello, people. No, no, we want to see your Hi, hand. Kerry. Give us a wave. Hi. She's gone. Do they? Oh. <laughs> Want to make me a coffee? She'll be back in a minute. Gary T says, Apparently "Did any my, of you watch the ice dev? Did any of you watch the ice dev interview with Man's Model Moments last night? And you almost nothing about them. But I want to buy more of their kits now." <laughs> Have I, I converted uh, you to IKM, Gary? <laughs> I haven't seen the interview, but I did see that it was on YouTube, so I'm going to watch it later. Uh, I haven't seen it. I have heard one of the kits that they're going to be producing, and I shall be getting one because it's. I find it, uh, well, right in my um, sort of, what would you call it? Right up your hoop. Oh, yeah, right, right, right up. Ball, ball, yeah, ball? Right, right up my <laughs> <laughs> or is that, a, or is that an Australian term for underpants? We don't wear them. What? Who? Of, you know, well, no. Did you say underpants? No, I said right up your hoop. No, right, ball, you keep dropping out because you know you're British telecoms and stuff like that. I'm in, on the other side of the world, and I'm the only one with a reliable internet connection. What gives? <laughs> Well, you can still hear my you know, chair, though. Uh, Ours is powered by dead kangaroos and things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, I got a bit excited then. <laughs> yeah. So, in case you didn't know, John is our resident um, wildlife manager. <laughs> <laughs> Wallaby whacker. I, yeah. Yeah. So the reason I'm the Wallaby Whacker is uh, these guys think it's odd that I would um, drive over a Wallaby um, and kill it. But, you know. Multiple Hang times. On. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's get this into perspective. A baby Wallaby. In Whilst front his of mother is mother, watching with a tear in its eye. <laughs> <laughs> And I believe the other night you uh, massacred a, a bug of some sort. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was a bug here. No surprise. Which is yeah, quite a brave thing to do in, in, in Australia because every animal <laughs> in Australia, as we know, question for you, John. You. Paul says, Do you eat it once it's dead? <laughs> uh, no, it's not that one. <laughs> he ran over it too many times. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it didn't look like a wallaby anymore, so you know, it, it, it was a bit fresh. <laughs> yeah. More of a furry patty. 
Uh, I mean, okay. Have you I heard... need to put it into context. I, I was being diverted. I was driving my daughter with, you know, driving with my daughter, 2,000 kilometres north to for her to go back to university for the second year. And um, there were diversions and stuff due to flooding on the highway. So we were on a dirt road and had been for ooh, about two hours or so. And um, yeah, it just popped out of the bushes and all that sort of stuff. So literally standing in front of the bumper, it was looking at, at me sadly. And I just sort of like, you know, <laughs> I just sort of like, you know, drove forward and then, you know, just came put in reverse, you. went back, <laughs> went forward and back a couple of times to make sure that it wasn't <laughs> on the road anymore. And um, I just kept driving. I didn't go back and sort of pick up the carcass or they whatever. Want a, and... They want an arm at least. There's a carry on <laughs> arm. Oh, 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 that's lovely. She's gone. She's gone. So uh, yeah, you can ma- imagine yeah, so munging this... on a on a wallaby sort of drumstick. Like there's a bit of meat in it, mate. <laughs> Hence why I put the kangaroo being hit just... by a car in the intro. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's a bit sad that you know that 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 mother mother wallaby had rescued her offspring from the floods. Only for it to be mown down in front of her eyes by some steely-eyed killer in a blue vehicle. Was it? Yeah, a focus. My daughter's focus. So I was staring at the mother right in the eyes, saying, "Focus, focus." <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Oh, we're going to have pizza on this. Watching this live at some point. <laughs> it's a little wedge. You're going to try and take it down like Tiger King or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's looking nice now. Look at that. No animals were. Oh, look at you storming ahead. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, get, getting this roof section on is not easy, is it? Mm. Eh, uh, it's not too bad. I've not glued it on yet. Paul says, over here we have badges. Dumb things will kill your car and walk off smiling. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it was not unusual. Uh, I was, because, you know, I, I hadn't hit too many kangaroos, kangaroos in, in my life. But, but, Paul um, says, how I'm do I send a light? Hang on, don't. Paul says, can you stop moving your ass? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to read Paul's comments out here. What, right. what have I done? Every time you move, I'll get it. Bloody twerking. <laughs> it sounds like you're having a fun night. <laughs> Bearing in mind your grandson's watching. <laughs> It sounds like you do it at a very different speed to what I do. <laughs> anyway, moving on. What does Paul yeah. say? Paul says, how do I send the like? So what you do, Paul, is if you're on your phone, you close the chat, you can send the like and then reopen the chat again. It's just the thumbs up underneath the video. <laughs> <laughs> Teenager grunts Gary squeak. <laughs> He squeaks his approval. I'm frightened to move. <laughs> oh, Gary T says that chair needs a silence. <laughs> Gary, that oh. chair needs replacing, but. That was mine. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Oh, dear me. Upstaged by a chair. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I just realised something, right? You know, if you put the top on this, the um, fighting compartments, how are you going to put the machine guns on? Carefully. What (laughs) step do they go in? Oh, that's they go in at step six. Yeah. Oh, they go in from the outside. Ah, oh, that's all right. Yeah, but don't. But the um, at the risk of moving and making a noise, uh, don't <laughs> the uh, aren't the um, machine guns movable? Yes. yes. 
Unlike certain <laughs> chairs, they would have grief applied. <laughs> Look what's just been delivered. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> I shall. Uh, can, I get, shall can I get that on CX, Gary? The chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll it. If I squirt it in my coffee, it will uh, we'll get through, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll service the chair um, after the show. Okay. Yeah. In the meantime, so we'll just put up with it for now. Yeah, but you see, you've, you've made me have a new mic, which is much better than the one I had. We didn't. Jake there. did. Jake was very kind and offered you a new mic. He's a very kind young lad. Yes. Who makes very nice cake. Oh. Oh, are you yes. making us some? He made his us... nana he made his nana cake last night because she's not been well. Yeah. And uh, he done a lovely job on it. It was a chocolate and vanilla swirly sort of sponge. But he made he made it in a heart shape. And he'd um, oh. Iced little roses in chocolate and vanilla all over it. Nice. Yeah. What a lovely I mean, young lad. I had a piece, uh, but as a diabetic, I then went into a coma for a, <laughs> a little one. Death by chocolate. <laughs> well, it does sound like a good way to go, though, doesn't it? Gary oh, yeah. T asks a question. Um, have you guys ever found a kit you forgot you have? I just found one today that had fallen down the back of the shelf. Totally forgot I bought it. Um, yeah. I used to uh, store some of my kits up in the up in the roof until we decided to bring them all down into here. And I occasionally uh, found kits up there that, yeah, I, I didn't realise I I had. Uh, one of which was, funny enough, a 132nd Westland Lynx Mark 8, which nice. still isn't built. <laughs> How you can forget that, I don't know, because it's massive. Yeah, just a little bit. Hmm. Um, no, I don't think I have, just because I, I didn't used to have too many kits. In fact, I, so I, I called a mate of mine. Uh, two days ago, about a part of another kit I'm working on. I want a replacement. And, you know, he uh, owns a uh -oh. model shop. And... <laughs> Just the depth that there is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in the chat, like he, uh, this mate of mine um, runs a, a model store in Melbourne um, called Gundams Plus. And in the text, I noticed yesterday that, you know, I'd written it like, you know, I'm not allowed to buy any more kits until I finish the four that I have. And I named them and um, looked back and, yeah, I've finished them all, which is good. And now I have about 30 kits in the stash. So, you know, but Bron understands that like everything I buy, like I don't just buy things just off the cuff. You know, I really want to build the ones that I buy. I try to try to, try to exercise restraint, but, you know, it doesn't look like it, I guess. But Marion, take note of what John just said. <laughs> I think Marion taking notes of taking names <laughs> rather than taking notes. Uh, you will go on to the list. You shall go on the list. Don't tell him <laughs> your name, Pike. <laughs> this really does fit very well, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's not so simple that it's Tamiya. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I'm, I, don't, I don't build enough Tamiya, as, as I say here, with, you know, our lingo. Now, but, um, if it was Tamiya, this yeah. bit would already be built. <laughs> yeah. We've said this before, not on air. Uh, I like Tamiya kits. I think they're lovely kits. But when I've built one, I always feel afterwards that I haven't been challenged. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes they are literally too easy. Um, and uh, great when you start. Great for a mojo build. Uh, and, and you know they are. Let's face it, Tamiya are 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 the are a AAA company that you know. Yeah. 
but sometimes the challenge isn't there. Yeah. 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 They are totally yeah, beautiful good. kits. Um, I don't know if they're going to avoid them. them. It just they tend not to build the subjects that really interest me. Well, that's not true. Um, like I love Spitfires, and I'll build one of them. But um, you know, there's only a couple of Spitfire models that Tammy have. So if you don't want a Mark One or a Mark Five, then or a Mark Nine, yeah, you have to shop elsewhere. But no, I'm certainly not avoiding that. They are. They deserve their reputation as the best brand on the planet. Um, most people love them, but anyone that builds Tamir exclusively, I think, are missing out on some wonderful subject choices. Oh, yeah. P personal Definitely. opinion. That's one of the things I like about ICM is they have a really good uh, range, don't they? They do, yeah. and their kits are glorious. Hello, Bailey. I've built um, a couple of ICM kits. Oh, a Model T Ford, a Doinia D7, um, B7, mm. Doinia. Doe 17. Guys. Something else. Dee, 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 dee. <gasps> oh, yeah. every day you have a delivery. <laughs> he Zoom just brought in. it for me. Yeah, hello, okay. Hello, I'm not zooming okay. in yet because it's got my address on it. Mario, <laughs> okay, are you watching this? <laughs> what I will do is I will shout out my address. Then I'll do it. Every day you get something new delivered. Not every day. I can't help being in charge of my own finances. <laughs> right, so it doesn't matter if you know that it's come from Jadlums. Free delivery. Yeah. And J points. I hear they're expanding. They only had one uh, branch, but now they're spreading across the country. Is that correct? Uh, I have no I idea. I think mate. that was an April Fool, John. Okay, I have no idea. Different country. Yeah, they put a post out on April the first about uh, something about that, and I, I, having been taken in by uh, just making conversations live podcast on April the first, uh, I, <laughs> I saw it as a possible. Uh, a, April Fools, but I may be wrong. Go on then, Mikey. Fair enough. You ready? Oh, it's a corgi. Oh, look at that. So Do that's AK Vietnam wood. Uh, that be for the Vietnam group build. Yeah. Um, Friends of models for I, heroes. First of May. And that is a Smithsonian diecast Blario. Very nice. Very nice. Well, it cost Very me a ton. Lovely. So I've got my shelf because I've got. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I've got um, an old horse and cart type bread wagon. And I've got the omnibus World War I uh, troop transporter. So, Mikey. Yes. We have a model of a Blerio monoplane in uh, the museum that I volunteer at, Fighter World down the road. And it's, yeah. I don't know what scale it is, it's not written on it, but um, isn't that lovely? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Nice. I don't know what size it is, it's, I don't know, quarter scale or something. Have you tried this stuff, the AK uh, ammo? Oh. Oh, oh dear. No, I want they do um, they do concrete effects and all that because I want to do some bases for my aircraft. Um, yeah, but, beach, uh, sand, asphalt, concrete, dark mud, yeah, muddy ground, and Vietnam ground and stuff. Just you just hmm. you just paint it on and yeah, uh, and uh, leave it to dry and there you go. So that'd be nice for the Vietnam group build. Starts yeah. the first of May. It does. I should really do a bit of plug plugging about friends. No, really. You should. Yeah. In fact, for a in fact, in fact, here we yeah. go. Right. So, Gary, you tell us about Miles for Heroes. I'll do the the tickery bit. Uh, right. There you go. Um, hey, friends of Miles for Heroes. <laughs> we are. We are the. Friends of Monster Heroes is the, if you like, to use a footballing analogy, we are the supporters club for the organisation called Models for Heroes, which does amazing work um, 
providing kits and uh, modeling equipment to uh, veterans, serving armed forces members and members of the blue light community, um, of which I am a volunteer of Models for Heroes, um, but I'm also the secretary of Friends of Models for Heroes. And we have a growing number of members. Uh, we've been going for just over a year now, officially. Uh, we have a committee and we, 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 we have a Discord server, which uh, if you're a paid up member, you get full access to. Uh, we do, as we are an IPMS registered club, we do charge a membership fee. This year it's £12 for the year, so it's a pound a month. Um, and uh, we have a Facebook page. Uh, <laughs> we have a Facebook page, Friend of Models for Heroes, and if people want to join us and uh, get involved in group builds and various other things that we've got planned for for this, our second year, um, the and how to join on there primarily our we, we go to shows as friends of models for heroes um we only did a couple last year we're hoping to do more this year um, we raise funds for models for heroes and uh it's it's quite a good uh, a good good little uh, good little club that we've got running the discord is absolutely buzzing all the time uh and uh this is a new venture the friends of models for heroes youtube channel um, the new direction that we're taking uh, this year to try and get our name out there and get people interested in what we do. So, yeah, that's the advert over. Thanks, Mikey. <laughs> it's all right, mate. As we said, it's I could go back to speak in my chair now. <laughs> yeah. Out of here. yeah, which, uh, yeah. As, as John says, is 40 million Australian dollars. Mm. <laughs> Worth every so, cent, or dollar rooney as we call it. Yeah, we do have a bit of a laugh uh, on the old Discord channel. Don't forget to follow the Friends of Mods for Heroes Facebook and YouTube channels. Uh, yes. Um, Don't forget to I'm a follow... member of Friends of Models for Heroes. Hmm. Uh, as soon as, yeah, I mean, it was Gary's idea, as far as I know. Is that correct, Gary? What's that? Sorry. Friends of Models for Heroes. No, that wasn't my idea. That was. Um, uh, uh, is that Mini Milk? Mini Milk. Okay. Uh, it was his idea. Um, oh. But I got on board fairly early on. I think they'd actually been officially going for a year before we went uh, unofficially going for a year. And then last year we, we formalized everything yeah. and uh, had a constitution written and a committee and all that started getting things like a bank account. So. Yeah. So, um, but, uh, me being a foreigner, um, I, I, I'm proudly a member of Friends of Models for Heroes. I think it's wonderful. And uh, certainly when the Discord thing started up, the idea was like maybe once a week we'll get together and get on uh, and have <laughs> conversations as we're modeling and all that sort of stuff. And then that yeah. started to spread from Saturdays to Wednesdays as well. And very soon it became um, pretty much, if you're sitting at the bench, I think it was again Gary's idea. If you're sitting at the bench, uh, just turn on your Discord, and if other people want to drop in, they can do that. You'd have a chat. And is all it that Gary's stuff. fault? Is it Gary's idea or Gary's fault? <laughs> There's a big difference. Uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it's become um, oh, it's a really, a really fun place to hang out. Like you know, yeah. most it's, it can be late at night for me because I'm literally like ten hours ahead, but. Um, it's. Um, I really enjoy the the camaraderie, the, the friendship group I, I have there. I think yeah. it's fantastic. I love it. Yeah, we do. As I say, we are we are um, primarily a group of veterans in there, so the humour can be dark sometimes. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we uh, we generally just go in there and model and chat. And, rubbish a bit like what we're doing today so don't forget to subscribe to john's facebook and youtube channel as well the scale modeling twins and of course bearded veteran creates yeah okay so that's a cracking little model. channel yeah oh mm, thank you that's, dude that's a cracking little channel and it's good for the history um uh, you know, it's it's it, it's it's well worth a watch. 
you know, I've learned more about World War One in the past uh, few months than I have in 60 years. Oh, and thank you, the um, production values are much better than anything you'll see on scale modeling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, since we started, my subscribers have gone up to 80. Woohoo! Wow. Yeah. I didn't know you, you subscribed well. to yourself to 60 <laughs> well, right. Yeah, 79 of them are me. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the other one's Kaylee. Yeah. Beat <laughs> it. Yeah. So at the moment, I'm right in thinking this is only going out live on Beardred Veterans P8, isn't it? Yes. Um, but it, we are ho hoping to upload it to the other two channels later on today. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Once yeah. Uh, Mikey works out how to um, put subtitles into Australian. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Kerry. I really appreciate it. I subscribed. Good girl. Yeah. Jake should subscribe. He'll learn something. Not that he doesn't learn things now, because that he's does a clever not lad. Work. He's taught. He he's is. got you that... used a microphone <laughs> with no feedback. Yeah, he's actually got you doing something technological. Oh, you idiot! Without needing it in stone carvings first. Clipped off the wrong bit. Yeah, I yeah. know. <laughs> I know. I, I'm old. What? That's why. It's all right. You're only a year older than my dad. This is a delightful <laughs> kit. It really is. It yeah, is. It? it is. Absolutely. Are we glad that I recommended it? <laughs> yeah. Well, you, know, you mentioned um, sort of building one. Hmm. And straight away, I'm onto you. Know, I can get a whippet. <laughs> like the little <laughs> lap dog I was. <laughs> I like whippets. <laughs> it's one time a bad cup. Kerry <laughs> <laughs> said, uh, "You'll need a nap later, Gary." He will. Draw, okay, Kerry. We keep him on here all day, and by the time he gets to four o'clock, he's like his head's practically sliding off his desk. With drool hanging off his chin and everything. <laughs> well, that's because believe it or not, old and knackered. Believe it or not, uh, in all seriousness, it is it is the after effects of the two strokes. Uh, yeah. But, uh, so what I do is, if I if I'm not on here, yeah, um, I'm downstairs on the PlayStation. Yeah. To keep myself awake, so otherwise I don't sleep at night. John, to be honest, I have sometimes I have a nap on the in my armchair, especially if I've been up like in early morning. Well, early for me anyway. Yeah, like was, like this morning. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's like me marrying Marion will know this. The more tired you get with fibre, the more pain you feel. And your arms start to feel cold and things like that because it, they're not actually cold. It's just how the pain's making you feel. Yeah. It's horrible. And Kerry said she can believe it mm. <laughs> about you drooling down the desk. <laughs> uh, Gary T says, I'm just washing the sprues from my latest kit and burr, the water is freezing. Not hot water in my, my gaming. Oh, no hot water in my gaming and modeling room. Well, luke, uh, lukewarm water will do as long as it's enough to activate the uh, washing up liquid. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Or the hand soap. So, do you guys wash hand every um, new kit you get, or how does that no. work? No. Uh, resin, yes. Um, most most model kits nowadays don't need washing. Hmm. Um if 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 when you open the box there's the, it looks like there's noily residue on the sprues then yeah give them a wash but uh, most of the time you don't need to. I'm just looking at part B8 and D23 in stage four. Yes. Yeah. And to quote my old boss and really good friend, is it me 
because yes it looks to be the wrong way around in the instructions mm, no. there are there are lugs attachment lugs on uh b23 which is tiny and there are holes in the back of b8 but it shows it going on the front oh yeah so you mean though yeah how strange how but then when you out? see when you see b8 being attached to a12 it's not there Okay, I can't see it. Uh, the yeah, that must be on the inside. On the instructions, it has that one. I can't see that small part. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's on the inside. If you look at stage five, it's not there. So it's on the inside. No, but what about... I don't understand why it would be on the inside. I guess it's just a viewing slot sort of thing. Can you what refer it'll be, to the... Yeah. Um, reference material what it'll be is you've got the vision slot so it'll be the hatch cover that comes down yes yeah. that's what it'll be looking so forward it needs to go in you know it's got a cutaway and that's the one bit that's been cut away it would have to go on the inside looking at the uh yeah it does go on the inside by looking at it yeah yeah locating because yeah divots. if you look on the photos of the actual tank if you look on the real the photos of it it's on there's nothing on the outside in that bit so d yeah. which sprue is d i don't think i've visited that one yet oh that's the one with all the wheels there won't be the big d on it yeah, what are there's you the to? there's the Russian one, the top one that you mentioned before, John. Oh, okay. Uh, if I put it on big screen, big screen. Uh, there you go. Not so that's the Russian one. That's it's quite a cool different. camouflage pattern. Yeah, but I mean the, the the mud sluices and everything are very very different, so I can't yeah. see how we could make that one. No. And then you got the Boiter Panzer at the bottom there. Bless you. Which is the same. It's just got the small <laughs> piece crossed and a bit of camouflage on it. Apparently. My God, if, it's not, if it's not your chair, it's you. Apparently my dog thing. is barking at himself on the TV. <laughs> yeah, Kerry said, uh, shiver him because you're tired, not cold. I can understand. So that's more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. When I when I go to have a lie down on or sleep on my armchair, I have to put a fleecy blanket over my arms. The rest oh, of my body, yeah. it's not. Bo I don't bother with, but my arms feel ice cold. Yes, well, a proper down it keeps the rest of your body warm, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. There's <laughs> a proper dad in that. <laughs> Hey, we're doing well, lads. We've been going an hour and forty. We still I got. I can't believe. Oh, I can't believe. So quick, it? Yeah. Well, Jake's under threat of death if he if he doesn't watch. Poor oh, Jake. Don't be bullying Jake. I don't bully Jake, mate. <laughs> Jake <laughs> bullies me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you don't argue with our Jake. I don't blame him. Good lad. He is. He's a little star. Right. So that goes like that. Hmm. I'm going to trim away. There's a, a bit uh, just north of the, like, I guess it's part of it. it the fact is, it doesn't matter. I won't trim it away because you won't see that small B23 vision slot thing. It's on the back of a yeah. closed thing. So I'll just stick it on. It doesn't matter if it's flush. But I'm not. I'm finding it's not fitting too well. I think... Um, ah, it's fine. Oof. 
It'll do. Rory just said, I'm still here again. <laughs> He's a good lad. That, that sounds like it make a song. I'm still here again. Time you'll never get back, Rory. Yeah. <laughs> So while you're there, like and subscribe and <laughs> all that crap. Yeah, don't forget, you got John's channel, which is Scale Modeling Twins, on Facebook and on YouTube. We've got Brands and Malls for Heroes, which is technically Gary's YouTube channel. Hopefully, we'll build Gary's confidence up and he'll start making some videos. And then we've got this channel which you're watching now welcome to bearded veteran creates my name is mike which is <laughs> how i start all my videos <laughs> for some strange reason i've got no screw over the place I have one of the for zero. Uh, Pigeon just invaded Benji's airspace. He's having a right old go at that there. <laughs> so I'll hear he's heard himself now as well. Oh, oh yeah. Christ. He obviously didn't like the cut of his own jib. Yeah. Uh, it's a very cool little vehicle, this, isn't it? It is. I'm actually getting quite attached to it. No, I haven't put my hand in the super glue. <laughs> <Super blue. laughs> like, like I did oh, yesterday. Yeah, you didn't see that, did you, John? Mikey came. That Mikey came on yesterday, and he literally just got on there, and he says, uh, "Gary, Gary, you've got a beer bottle top stuck to your arm, and that's what I had my super glue in." <laughs> God knows how long it had been there. Why am I getting lots of messages on my phone? Gary T says, Can I just say I've done a lot of hobbies in my time, but I've never known a community as helpful and as friendly as modelers. I'm truly blown away by how kind and helpful you all are. Oh, mate. Don't do that. You have John crying. <laughs> He's very emotional, is our John? <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. Oh. We do try. We we are all like-minded people. We yes. all oh, God. Oh, we have an understanding. Okay. We all have an understanding of what veterans sometimes go through. Yeah. I think we definitely know what scale modelers go through. And ninety percent, ninety percent of what we do, especially on the Discord, uh, on Fred's Model Series, is well, I say ninety percent, eighty percent is probably non-modeling related. It's just sitting there chatting, yeah, supporting each other. You know, if, if yeah, if you glue a bit of plastic together during the the session, Look at the, the session, number of wheels. How many wheels we've got? That's all right. <laughs> this was it's your trapped. idea, Mikey. Don't back out now. <laughs> it, it, it's the trap. It's the never. traps on. Well, it does say in the instructions you don't need to glue the tracks. D. Yeah, you don't glue the tracks. They clip together. Yeah, oh. put the sprue on me. There you go. That's a shame. Because we could have got sent them all to John Mayfield, and he could have built them for us. Because he loves doing tracks. <laughs> John Mayfield is the uh, track guru. Ah, come on! Oh, just gonna have to go in the box. <laughs> hmm. Right. Come on. Yeah. We're not doing too bad. 
that. We're doing pretty bloody well. But it is one minute, one hour forty-five now. Well, that's good. That's. I can't believe how quickly this time has gone. It certainly has. I've really enjoyed it. You just sat here chatting to me, mates, and gluing some plastic together. Yeah. Life does not get better than this. There's probably all sorts of chaos happening downstairs. Yeah. Of course, he values his time with you much more, Marion, of course. And John with Bronwen and yes. me with Kaylee. Yes, dear. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, dear. But, uh, yes. Let, yes. Let it be known. <laughs> My time with you is sa sacrament. No, What's sacrosanct. Sacrosanct. <laughs> sacrament. Sacramental. Sacramental. Yeah. Uh, Sacramental. But... Well, my time with you is sacrificial. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, sir. Uh, apparently, that was the had... <laughs> Sacrificial. <laughs> Yeah, hang on a minute. Carrie Ann's just posted on there that uh, that she's happy to get rid of him for a while. Hmm. Um, I'm not so sure that's true, because uh, the other day she was mentioning the fact that she'd become a Models for Heroes widow. Oh. Oh. So oh, I'm a bit confused now. You see. Mixed signals. You see mixed signals. <laughs> Mind you, that is my daughter saying that, not my wife. <laughs> uh, I, I get the impression your wife and daughter are on the same wavelength, mate. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't want to argue with either of them, to be honest. No, I've tried it. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't. You don't pick a fight, we can't win. And uh, that's why Marion and I never argue. There you go. She's just trying to make you feel good, Gary. <laughs> yeah. That's because I've walked the dog for three days on the trot this week. Oh, my God. In my disabled state. I've had to yeah, but you know, just think of all the number twos you've enjoyed <laughs> doing. Your wife doing it. apparently. <laughs> Struggle round. Well... Apparently, you whilst flashing your backside to all and sundry. <laughs> to my son. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, bless her. She hasn't been very well this week at all. But with one thing oh, other, so. There you go, Gary. Here comes another cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, to be fair, she has not been very well this week. And uh... we want us to get better soon. Yeah. I'm known not well, to look after you, you big silly. Well, actually, Marion is registered as my carer. Yeah. Uh, because uh, it, may not, it may not be apparent on here, but I do have issues. Um, oh, yeah, we know you got and, issues. Uh, and my daughter, <laughs> is, my daughter is my wife's carer. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I've got issues, all right, boy. <laughs> um, oh, Struth, come on. Oh, crikey. Charlene's got no strides on. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I was thinking that, like, you know, I won't show the credit until afterwards, you know, you'll see him. For the first time and at the start of the show i'm just thinking oh kylie's going to make a showing again but <laughs> that did not happen no, kylie, I'm not. Marley. kylie marley i'm not a cruel mate don't worry <laughs> <laughs> b3 b4 well, yeah, there's always well, next yeah. week there's always no, next wait. week when i'm in charge rory says get well soon mario oh bless him she will she will we need someone to keep Gary in check. He's getting out of control. He's getting far too much morale. I, uh... This could be the lunar module, really, couldn't 
<laughs> floating in space. The loogie, yeah, the loogie module. Jake said, how do you like the microphone? I think the microphone is somewhat awesome. It is. We um, can hear Gary squeaking much better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's obviously not a noise-cancelling microphone. <laughs> um, what, what I need now, Jake, is another camera. <laughs> <laughs> you got to speak to your accountant for that. The accounts department. Yeah. Yeah, she's not well at the moment. <laughs> Kerry says... She has to be with a husband like him. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bless her. Uh, are we all on stage lot. four, are we? I'm uh, on stage. I've just started stage four. Right. Yeah, just moved to stage five. Right, don't go too far ahead, John. Um, okay. I, could, I could stop at five. Because we're, we're stopping in a bit anyway. Yeah. Okay. No, I've just put the lunar module together, or the lunar, as they call yeah. it. Um, yeah, so I'm just basically dry fitting it to the uh, the rest of the chassis or carcass yeah. or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and well, um, it's pretty good, eh? Yeah, what we'll do in a minute. Is, this, uh... this is actually larger than what I thought it would be, in that it's the same scale as this, you know, the Mark IV. No, no, it's about right. No, it's exactly. Yeah. What, what I expected, yeah. This, that, as I said, this is not finished. <laughs> um, and one of the reasons I wanted to do Whip It, it'll let me finish this one as well because I'll have the same paints out and the same sort of mud and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So are Vietnam, you doing a, mud wouldn't work so well on this one. Are you, are you doing it as a diorama or? What's as that? A, just a... <laughs> it's, it's I just refuse to stay. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've never built a diorama. I don't know. Maybe this would help me. I wouldn't have any fear of one, but I have no idea how to go about it. So maybe if you can assist me, yeah, we'll, um, you know, maybe other people could. Well, learn why to... don't we? Why don't we extend the build to yeah. the diorama base as well? So we'll do well, the build. Yeah. We'll do all the. And then we'll do a diorama for it with you. Because I've only ever done one diorama, and I still haven't finished that. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a big assumption that YouTube won't ban us for being crap. <laughs> we not, might not be here in a week. I had not thought of that. <laughs> Actually, we will be. You've seen the other crap on it. Yeah, you've seen the rest of the crap on what That's all right, John. We'll, <laughs> John, we'll do it. We'll, if, if, if they ban us, we'll do it on Discord. They can't get us on there. <laughs> No, but this could go. <laughs> wow, what a really nice fit. There's nothing that doesn't fit together, really, is there? No. Yeah, we're not having to make that many modifications, but the kit's complicated enough that it compensates for that. Yeah. I mean, you could say, like, the, the whole thing is made out of just flat panels of steel. Um... Yeah, well, yeah. there's been but a couple of bits of the instructions you know, where they've been a bit. Yeah, there's like, oh, I wouldn't say no. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, these are good instructions. It's only that one step, really, you know, which yeah. side is that uh, vision slot on. Everything else yeah. seems fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's certainly not kinetic yeah. quality. Um, as bad, yeah, kinetic, kinetic <laughs> constructions are, can be messy. Oh, we've had an order. Someone go to the photocopy and photocopy this. <laughs> Badly. Oh, that's terrible. I, so I've built two of the Mirage three O's, um, and interestingly, I haven't got them here, but they're instruction booklets. Let me bring this one up. This is what the other kit I'm working on at the moment is the Kinetic Hornet. So that's a. Um, let's see. If that's, I reckon, if that's a a. A4, this would pro probably be full cap, I'd say. Anyway, but this is all yeah. printed the correct orientation. It takes up the full page. The kit I had before was yeah. um, landscape. It was, it was printed across. But anything yeah. that was yeah. outside that window wasn't on the page. So you could have, like, 
views of the aircraft here and it would be missing the top view in half of the tail of the next one down. And it was just terrible. And I just thought, oh, that's yeah, obviously yeah. just that kit and went through Bad Batch. And then two years later, I built the same kit again. It was exactly the same um, problem with the instructions. It was just not good enough. Yeah. Anyway. I've got the Kinetic F-16 DG and DJ uh, in 148 scale up there. And, and it's, I started it. Um, it. It's not finished yet because it's fighting me. Um, but I was really disappointed when I opened up the instruction book. It looked like it had been printed on one of those old school photos yeah to turn the, the, handle. the purple ones that the, the teacher would do um, yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's right but then yeah then when i was at telford last year did i say i went to telford last year uh when i went Have to telford, telford last year i got the kinetic gold one <laughs> i got the kinetic 148 pukara which i am yeah currently stalled on but there it is uh, and that, that is a lovely kit and the instructions aren't too bad on that at all the Pukala. Yeah. Pukala. As Pukala. our friend Pukala. Gary says. Pukala. As our friend Gary uh, says. Jake said, show the tank that I made, Grandad. Show the tank that he made. Well, right. Now, there we go. I'm going to have to go into the... Uh... Oh, my God. Where's the tank? You haven't lost Jake's tank. I'm going to put you on big screen and everything. So we can see Jake's tank. Well, Jake... Jake made these two. Try pointing at the these camera. These two little shirts. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to. I keep trying to point at the screen. <laughs> All right. So he made these two little shirts. Okay. Nice. Uh, the, like that's in my display cabinet. Job. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. He did that all himself. Uh, airbrushed it as well. That's very good. Uh, I've also got. This is one, one, when I first came back to modelling, I built, um, but I have to keep it here because I don't know whether you can see the guy driving it, but his eyes scare Jake, so I have to keep him here. Yeah, quite it does look the a little bit hills have, hills have eyes. Don't yeah, <laughs> it's a bit shocking. Uh, I think that's what he means. Those are the tanks that he made. Um, but yeah. Yeah, but, uh, but bless him. He just wants to throw it together and throw paint all over it and have done with it. Yeah, okay. I don't blame him. So, gents, we're at three minutes to two hours. Very quickly, there's something I just okay. found in the instructions. Can you zoom in on me for a sec? This might be interesting. What I've just found, yeah. and you wouldn't <laughs> believe it. Look at this. <laughs> and I say I've been to Telford. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> so here we are. This is the end of. Um, we're up to the end of step four, and um, yeah, we've got the, all the chassis together, and it's um, you know, it's that's not glued on yet, but it's it's gone together really well, and I've very much enjoyed this. So thanks, gents. This is this is a good idea. I think this is a lot of fun. Yeah. How are you getting on, Gary? Well, I'm not quite as far as John because uh, I am naturally a slow build, slow builder anyway. But I've got the uh, most of this built, um, and you know, even the bend. So uh, you know, kudos to Meng there. Um, mm -hmm. I will, and John, I've just got to put the final bits and pieces together of the the fighting compartment side of it. And then I'll be able to uh, on the uh, on the next stage. Excellent. So, yeah, really happy with the build. It um, goes together lovely. Good. It does. Don't what it. about you, Mikey? Me, I have done that, which is the main bit, and then I've done most of the fighting compartment. There you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I've just got a few of the little Ooh. where the joints to sort of press together and join up a little bit, but I can do that off camera. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. let's go back to our faces now. Gary, you got to do your really oh, technical. Oh, hang on. I have to get all technical. Let's Ooh. see if he squeaks. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, if you want to say your goodbyes, then. True. Yes, thank you very much. Um, totally enjoyed it. Uh, we're back on ne- next week. Yes. Uh, are we going it, on, we on Gary's week? or John's next week? Yeah. We, John, well, should we go on Gary's next friend week? Of I'll do a Okay, I'll, I'll do some training you, Gary, in worry. the week with the, with you with you, Mikey. Yeah, um, it's no been problems, a cracking cracking morning. I really enjoyed this. I've never done this before in my yeah, life. You know, I've thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it's good, yeah, isn't it? So, uh, thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. Nice. Thanks for a yeah. very pleasant morning. Excellent. So we'll do the Let's outro see if now. Mikey makes a mess of the outro. <laughs> <laughs> very likely. Right. Yeah. We'll see you later, everyone. Bye. See you all next week. Thanks for watching.